Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix the color in photos. I'm gonna give you four ways to remove a color cast inside of Photoshop. Hey, Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. And today, I'm gonna to show you four different ways to fix the color in any photograph. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at different scenarios and we're gonna look at four different techniques to quickly remove the color cast from a photograph. Now, maybe some of these are new to you and maybe some of these you already know. Never hurts to know more techniques. In fact, I'm curious of how many of these will be new. Let's get started. So this first photograph I shot under tungsten lighting and you can see that it has a little bit of a warm color cast. Now this one's actually not gonna to be too difficult to fix because I was shooting against a white background. So we can use that to neutralize our color cast. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna create a curves adjustment layer. Now you could use levels or curves, but in this case, we're gonna use curves. Now, if you look on the side, we've got these eyedroppers. There's a white, there's a black, and then there's a gray and the gray will actually neutralize your color cast. So if we select this gray eyedropper, all we need to do is find an area in the photo that would be neutral colored, either gray or white. And we just simply click and it's gonna remove the color cast just like that. So let's have a look at another scenario. And this one here of Lena, I shot in raw so we can see, I've got a raw file here. And in fact, I can just double click and it will open it inside of camera raw. Now, if you open it in Photoshop, it will open here. Now, if you shot it in raw, then we can actually go down under the white balance and we can change the white balance settings to what it should be. In this case, we can move it to a tungsten. And notice we've got that and we kind of get this blue light here from the mixed lighting, but I kind of like that. So we're good there. Now you can, of course, manually go in here, you could warm it up or you can cool it down just by moving these sliders. So if you wanted to enhance that blue to create a little bit more drama, you could do that right there. Okay, let's look at the third scenario. I'm gonna use camera raw again, but in this case, this is not a raw file. It's actually a JPEG right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under filter and we're gonna to go to camera raw filter. And because this is not a raw file, we can't go under here and select the other settings. So what do we do? Well, we can actually just go up here and we can use our eyedropper tool just like we did before and select an area that we know should be white, click on there, and that will neutralize the color cast. All right, so now we're gonna do our fourth scenario. So far we've covered raw file and we've covered a non-raw file. We've done it inside of Photoshop and we've done it in camera raw. But this next technique might be new to you. So what we're gonna do is take this shot here and then we're gonna go under our image adjustments, and then we're gonna go to match color. So normally match color is a place that I use when I'm compositing and I wanna match the foreground with the background, and I've got other tutorials on that. In fact, I'll link to one for you. But here's the thing a lot of people don't realize, you can actually use a photograph against itself to neutralize the color cast. How do we do that? Well, it's really simple. All we do is go down to the button that says neutralize, and then click OK. As simple as that. So after this tutorial, you've now got four new techniques for attacking those color casts. You can use curves or levels adjustments. You can go into camera raw, select the correct color temperature. You can go into camera raw and you can use the eyedropper or go into match color and use neutralize. So I'm really curious, were any of these techniques new to you? If so, let me know in the comments underneath. And don't forget, a lot of these tutorials, I have the written notes. Check out the link underneath, but you can find those at photoshopcafe.com. And if you're new to this channel and you like Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now and join us. Become part of the Cafe crew and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Ring that notification bell so you know when I upload it, which is usually every Tuesday. Anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Thank mm -hmm. you.